So when you go out socially, Paul, and you meet somebody who's really good looking or somebody you're attracted <laughs> to, can you just go to the Bugapa guy and even find out whether you're actually going to develop a relationship? Oh, I'm with the them? worst. I'm the worst <laughs> in the world for that because I don't See want to throw them. <laughs> oh, I wish. I wish. Now, I don't want to mix my disciplines. But astrologically, mm-hmm. I have got an aspect, a Neptune-Venus aspect, which makes me think they're all wonderful. Oh. They're usually not <laughs> wonderful at all, <laughs> but that is an entirely different matter. No, I am as naive a person in my personal life as you could possibly imagine. No, I'm afraid it doesn't work for me It doesn't work for you. Huh? <laughs> now, what about uh, politicians? I have already predicted mm-hmm. what I believe is the outcome of the next election. You have. We will see whether I'm right or not. Can we have your prediction for our show? Why not? Hillary, John Edwards is VP. That's what I saw. I'm not going to take too much of your mm-hmm. time now, but I'm going to definitely ask for a reading. Oh, well, we're <laughs> going to give you a little mini reading. Be okay. kind enough if you would to shuffle those, that pack all the way through seven times. Okay. There's a strong gentleman around, very, very bright. He may possibly be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or somebody of that very quick, bright, sharp intellectual nature. Right in front of you, you've got a career opportunity. And connected to that career opportunity is another woman. She comes up as a more nurturing side kind of a person, possibly in the symbol of the tarot, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or somebody of a caring nature. What you have in mind, your strongest focus at the moment, is apparently what I would call marketing yourself, getting the word out. You are seen as a person with a very strong family tradition. I have got in the short term, and I said these are just snippets, Mm -hmm. um, a certain amount of money coming in, enough money. Um, Money does not seem to be the huge focus right now at the moment, which does not mean to say it's not important. There's enough. You do come up though as very happy, and I particularly strongly like this association with this woman. Attached to her, I've got a successful, powerful older man. But I think these are business, you may already know them, but I don't think you're doing anything with them as yet. Well, this was some session here, Paula. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. And I'm welcome. sure the viewers enjoyed it thoroughly. You are a lady that mm-hmm. I could interview forever. Oh, well, it- <laughs> There's so much to talk and discuss. But, yes. well, we're going to s- sort of uh, end our program. But okay. uh, I definitely end by asking mm-hmm. you three different ways mm-hmm. that you can guide our viewers right now. Everybody who's watching What's mm-hmm. Wellness. That things that they can do very simply in their homes, but have an improvement in their lives or bring wellness into their lives. I think the first thing I'd like to say is what we can all try to do is truly take the time to listen to a relative or friend, somebody around us, not interrupting, very, very truly listening to somebody else. What is their situation? What are their problems? It's not all about you. And I think that's very, very important. I I think what I'm saying is, every day if we think about it, we can extend ourselves, even for a moment or two, to somebody else, without thinking, what's in it for me? Second thing is that delicate, delicate question about parents, influence of parents which, of course, they have a huge influence. And with all due respect to Freud, and he did know what he was talking about it, as best one can acknowledge the part they played in our life, as best we can put it behind us, because ultimately, as I see it, we are responsible for ourselves as adults. I'm not saying we don't bring the baggage with us, but the point as I see it, the purpose of life, the karma is, okay, that's what we started with, what are we going to do with it? And the third point is, take time for yourself. You are important. And again, it's my observation that a lot of people are almost frightened of being quietly, peacefully by themselves. But have no 
music on, they've got to be watching the telly, they've got to have a cell phone, they've got to. And I remembered, and actually it's my mother's favourite, um, so the parents of course have got <laughs> a lot of influence, of course, and I dug out the poem, and the first thing I want to say, I'm not going to read the whole poem, it's one my mother used to read for it, it was written by William Henry Davis, Davies, who was born in 1870, he's a British poet, and he actually took six years out to live as a hobo here in the States. So, I mean, I think that's taking time to yourself a little radically. <laughs> but the actual poem, and bear in mind again, this man was born in 1870. And the poem is called, I'm just going to give you a few lines, sure. Leisure. I'm not going to call it leisure. Mm -hmm. That's it okay. <laughs> leisure. Leisure. <laughs> what is this life if full of care? We have no time to stand and stare. I won't read the whole thing, I'll just read the end a little bit. No time to wait till her mouth can enrich that smile that eyes began. A poor life this is, if full of care. We have no time to stand and stare. That was so wonderful. Thank you and so relevant much. As much today as it ever was. Thank you for your time, Paul. Appreciate My that. My great pleasure. Thank you so much. Well, uh, it's time for us to leave. And uh, Paula talked about parents, and I think I'd like to finish on that note. Uh, our parents tried their best. You know, they basically wanted to give you the best life they could. Well, everybody makes mistakes, and I think it's important sometimes to forgive them and move on uh, and put closure onto things because uh, that's very important for you to actually uh, realize inner happiness. Otherwise, you know, like I remember once I interviewed Deepak and he told me, uh, would you like to forgive somebody or hold it in your heart because do you want to be miserable or do you mm -hmm. want a miracle so I, and I think we all want miracles mm -hmm. and on a happy note uh, I think I want to say goodbye to you with what my dad always nudged mm -hmm. me with uh, some some words that he used to tell me when I used to be low he would tell me Popin he called me that's my nickname mm -hmm. when life gives you lemons make lemonade so that's my little tip for today. So thank you again to Paula. Thank you so much. It was absolutely my pleasure. I hope I can visit again and uh, we can talk more. Mm -hmm. But uh, till I see everybody again on our next episode of What's Wellness, it's goodbye from here. Bye-bye.